choking power, what squeezes harder, man or snake? Oh, oh, oh! The nine-foot python we brought in squeezed with 40 pounds of force. Wow. Yeah, it's just tightening up. And you notice he's around both the throat and the carotid artery. But that's nothing compared to mixed martial arts legend Fedor Emelianenko. He clamped down with 500 pounds of force. So we know what squeezes harder, but what we don't know is how little force it takes to choke a person out. To answer that, we're using a different kind of dummy altogether. I'm about to get choked out by the baddest man on the planet. That's right. Earlier in the show, sports science host John Brinkus sacrificed his entire body going up against NFL All-Pro defender Chris Jenkins. Now John's neck is literally on the line. John's in trouble. John's going to go to sleep. Everything you know, is not a bad thing. I've been choked out many times. only have a couple twitches from it now. It's not that bad. The things I do for science. We've rigged John up with sensors to show us what's going on inside his body as he's being choked out. So this is a pulse oximeter. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to capture your heart rate, and it should probably be high, and the oxygen saturation in your blood, which may go down, depending. So we'll see how the results are, but your heart rate will probably go up because you're stressed, and your oxygen will probably go down. Do I look stressed? A little bit. You'll be okay. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, I am extraordinarily freaked out right now. Our dummy John's all rigged up and ready to go. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Are you ready? You're up to 136. <laughs> oh, my God. A heart rate of 136 is almost twice as fast as the average resting heart rate. And we're just getting started. Oh, he's got me. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you sure you're not going to crush my windpipe? <laughs> All right. Please do not hurt me. Right. We're at 141. Okay, John, are you ready? All right, I'm ready. Okay. Peter, are you ready? Oh, my God. Three. John's heart rate spikes to 180. He's redlining, experiencing a severe panic attack, and the oxygen going to his brain has decreased by 15%. But that small decrease is enough to put our host out. John's heart rate and respiration leap in a frantic attempt to get blood to the brain. That doesn't work. John's brain shuts down. The brain needs 50 milliliters of oxygen a minute. That flow to John's brain has been cut by 15%. And if it's reduced by only another 5%, it could be enough to put him in a coma or even kill him. But Fedor releases his grip on John's throat. And blood is coming back to the brain. John was choked out in four seconds, and it takes him four seconds to come back. squeeze with 500 pounds of force. But with John, he didn't need nearly that much. He only used 40 pounds of force. That's the same amount of choking power as the python. Medical experts say it takes as much force to compress the carotid artery as it does to break this egg. That's less than 10 pounds of force. 
not only could Fedor choke 12 times harder than a python, he put our host to sleep in a few seconds. And what did he think of our new dummy? Oh, I have nothing but respect for John. Because we'll have it done on you. You get a different perspective than just watching me do it to someone else. That's what we call taking one for the team. Oh, my God. Outfielder versus Wall. The best damn sports show period. Weeknights. Right now, Fridays has 10 entrees for just $9.99 each. Like zesty sizzling chicken and shrimp.